Hello and welcome back. I have several bookmarks I still need to paint the backs of, so I guess we could do that. I like this neon one still, so it's probably my favorite to do that. And I was working on another one, and then this is a book tracker one, which I think I might want to color in the border or paint it with acrylic paint. I think that's what I'm going to do. Something that'll match. So anyway, um, this is my reference um, inspiration. But first things first, let's work on, this one is done. Well, kind of, hold on, let me fix it. Get some Posca's out, see if I can get it so I don't have to see the pencil mark on there. Open up my Waterloo. Just basically going over with paint marker so the pencil mark doesn't show as as much. Um, I shot a video for my mini grants, but I can't get my video editing shot software to load very well right now, so I'm gonna have to wait until another till later to edit that and upload it. But it is done. Probably not my best one, but <laughs> it is done. enough and if I need to do more I will but I think this is fine for now and I'm just gonna nicely take off the tape I'm gonna need to pull my chicken pretty soon I can't just but that won't take long hungry but I started making it so I might as well finish it okay so there's the so it is a little bit different on both sides but I still really like it so there's the back there's the front or whatever one side two sides <clears throat> so that one's done I think I want to do this but I want to I think I want to paint the uh, sides the border instead of leaving it white because I think it looks weird white um, so I want to make it like a either a pink or a blue or a purple. I think purple might look nice with this. I'm pretty sure. Let me get out some purple. Aside from the spray, I have this called this thing called like a multi-purpose sealer. And I don't really know if that would do anything like the spray would, but um might be a good thing to try. So these two bookmarks are done and they are just they just need to be sealed. Um, here's my white glob of paint. Hopefully it still works. Or still, you know, not not dry is what I'm trying to get out here. And then I'm going to mix it with purple and make like a white pastel purple. can do here. Let's make some magic happen. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's a little bit better just to have like a solid color there. I would argue that darker is a little bit better, but 
I just white looked weird. I was gonna use the Posca markers, but I didn't think that was they're not good for just like coloring, they're better for making lines, in my opinion. So I'm using acrylic paint to paint the border and the shelves. I think I will do more book track. Or I also got to do the other side of this one. But, um, I can start another one too. And this cat I was working on. See if it. I need to fix it with acrylic paint. It's not gonna. It looks weird without it, but um, I'll fix it, and hopefully it'll look okay. Cute. Thank you. What symbols? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. This is a, a book tracker. So like, I'll, I'll show you like, um, I have one already that's like professionally done and it's, I don't think you guys can see because of the glare, but uh, it's a book tracker. You write down all the books that you, hold on a moment. There we go. There's a book tracker. You write down all the books that you've read. So that's what I'm, I'm doing is I'm making a book tracker one that you can write, write down books that you've read and it's a bookmark. Okay, what else? Art is definitely subjective. Gotcha. Well, I wish they said something. What books? They just represent any book. So you write down what book you've read. So like um, last year I read like the, uh, I read Wife Upstairs. I just, I just write down every book that I've read. I'm going to finish this and I'll work on the cat. Hi, Angela. How are you this evening? Mm -hmm, not too bad. I like having creative energy, that's good. It's good for production. Oh yeah, no, I've read books I did not enjoy, definitely. But they still they still count towards my reading goal. <laughs> Just because I didn't like it doesn't mean anything.
So I'm, I'm making this to sell, basically. You think so? Why page 60? Oh, gotcha. I usually try 100 pages before I start reporting that I'm reading the book. Oh, yeah, no, I don't like long chapters usually, but I guess it depends on the book. Yep. I know. I think that's basically standard for like a standard novel. Okay. Yeah, I get that. I can understand that. Wow, that's hard to pick. Um, I really like thrillers generally, psychological thrillers. Um, the one I just read was pretty good. It's called uh, These Silent Woods, which wasn't even really a thriller. I thought it was going to be, but it's not. It was just a very heartwarming story. I like it when it's like not necessarily gore, not necessarily like scary, just like scary with like a good story too. Like a good, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm very picky about my fiction. I have to be able to get sucked in. I don't always succeed. So that's why I usually just do thrillers because it's easier. Plus they tend to be shorter. But um, I'm trying to think. I don't, I, I mean, most of what I've read is pretty contemporary and I feel bad about that. I feel like I should probably include classics in my list, but I, I don't, I haven't read a lot of classics. Um, last year I read, or earlier, was it last year? I read The Chain by Adrian McKinney, and I loved, loved that one. No, this is a MacBook. My cat's coming. I thought my cat was coming, I guess not. Hello. Oh, it was really good. I didn't, oh my God, you're gonna step in the paint, aren't you? Um, I, I just checked it out of the library one day just to see what it was like and it was just so good, I loved it. This is Maya. Maya gets in the way. Yeah, let me know. What are they? Gotcha. I have heard Ender's Game is incredible. Actually, I saw neither. I'd rather write, read the book first anyway. And you didn't like Fight Club? Because I really like Fight Club. <laughs> Fight Club is my favorite movie, to be honest. Yeah, no, I know. 
David Fincher, of course. Gotcha. I think I did once upon a time, but I don't remember everything. I remember that um, the ending is quite different than the movie, but it, the ending of the book makes a lot more sense than the ending of the movie, but um, that doesn't mean that the rest of it is good. Yeah, Chuck Palahniuk. No, Chuck Palahniuk is the writer of um, the Fight Club, but the person who directed Fight Club the movie is David Fincher. I mean, they have different goals, but I mean, I don't know. I, David Fincher is also always like a really good actor, director, I think. Well, didn't he do, hold on a second. I remember, wasn't it like a, the girl with the dragon tattoo, I'm pretty sure? Let me see. No, it was Gone Girl. Sorry. Well, it was the dirt. Yeah, it was both. I was thinking it wasn't Gone Girl, but it is. Um, he has Gone Girl, Girl with Dragon Tattoo. Uh, he did Zodiac. I love that one. Social Network. I've actually never, never read, never saw. Never, never really. I don't know. I have the book somewhere, but I've never read it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You mean like in schools? Oh, okay. I remember I like I have it. I've had it since I was a child. I just um even if I was actually kind of stubborn as a child. So <laughs> like, even if I like to read now, I did not like to be told what to read as a kid. So I just didn't do required reading most of the time. I passed though, I did. Or I did the bare minimum just to get by. I guess it wasn't just the fact that they were telling me to read something I didn't want to read. It was reading itself. Like I found it really difficult because I can't, it, you have to be in a certain mood. And I like, I had a time limit cause it was homework and I hated it so much cause I couldn't stop myself from falling asleep most of the time. ADHD. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, that's good. That's a good policy to have for yourself, personal. I don't know what, what it's called. <laughs> personal goal, I don't know. Personal morals, I think, or something like that. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry before I do the other side. Let's put that over here. I can work on the cat. I also can work on some of the tie-dye ones I worked on. Oh, 
Okay, self-respect or um, perspective, gotcha. Oh, I know, I know. I mean, I, you never, I honestly don't know who you are, <laughs> but I appreciate you coming by to see me. Oh, gotcha. All right, no worries. Gotcha. All righty. Do you? Who am I? Oh, okay. Well, it's not very hard. I definitely put my face in videos and I have social media. So, I mean, I'm sure it's easy to find. I know. I don't. I didn't. I wasn't accusing you of that. Gotcha. So that is for the neon tie-dye that I want to do, but let's work on the cat for a little while because I've done enough abstract today. I apologize. Mixture. I did watercolor for the first part of the cat, and now I'm going to do some acrylics and fabric paint. Oh, God, this one's brand new. Do I know? Or, I mean, impressionism, that's probably the closest to what I do. Um, Surrealism. I I very have great appreci like appreciation for that like styles. I don't know. Three pieces inside the White House. I can't remember when I was in the White House. I think I was a really young child. So I'm guessing no. <laughs> I haven't really read about the White House. Why, can you? I would love to hear about the art that's in the White House. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That's fair. Cool, which ones?
what it means that you can do name art in the White House. I mean, it, it means that you know history, I would assume, because I'm sure that, that art just didn't just get there. So I think that's pretty cool. All right. My goal for what? What kind of goal? You mean like in my life goal? My goal for art? There's a whole bunch of things. For art, I would very much like to sell more, get my art out there, see more, like have more people see it. Um, but I, I don't strive to be necessarily famous. I just, I just like to make it. It's fun. Oh, this, this, this is terrible. Oh God, sorry, I'll be right back. I forgot something. All right, I was gonna, I'm working on like meal prepping. I just wanted to see if I had to do anything with it, but not yet. Let me get some more paint. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the kitty cat's eyes, but that's okay. I'll fix it. I can do it. And I need to work on the. Oh, I have brown. Why, why am I doing stupid things with stupid colors? Just kidding. I need to make the cat's eyes smaller. I think they're too big. So that's one thing. The cat eyes are not that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over it in a moment after the paint dries. It's hard to make it smaller. It's easier to make it bigger. Let me see if I can do it just by doing it this way.
<laughs> from what I just texted you, Angela, is that is that all I had to do? Just get up and leave and look at my pulled chicken? Is that all I had to do? Why did I do that before? I, I mean, I texted and I asked Brandon to get in here. Not that he would drop his precious League of Legends, but so. <laughs> Hopefully I handled things pretty well. It's just been such a weird day. <laughs> I tell him he doesn't have to come in here so he doesn't freak out. Not that I don't know if he would or not. I have this tendency to want to make every cat really fluffy now because Maya is fluffy, but not every cat is that fluffy. So I'm just using some brown to, like tabby cats are, they have a, uh, you know, stripes, but it can't all just be two colors. You need some darker for contrast. I know, I know, I got your text, I know. I was thinking that too. Like how can you not do two things at once? But that's okay. Excuse me. Ugh, it's going to be hard to wake up for work tomorrow, <laughs> but hopefully I can still do it. I need to get back on the rec exercise routine, too. <sighs> Your girl's been slacking.
Thanks. I think I could too. What I usually do is either I can watch TV because it's facing the TV now, or I can um, usually I read <clears throat> while I'm on the thing. And then like I have a, I don't know what it's called, but it's this thing that says electronic impulses to, or pulses to your muscles. And sometimes, and I don't even know if it really works or builds up muscle or not. I think probably old fashioned weights are better, but when I hold that, I have, like I can't do anything else for 15 minutes. So it, it definitely guarantees at least a 15 minute workout because <laughs> I'm pedaling. <sighs> Not sure how I'm feeling about this cat, but I'm working on it. See what I can do with it. I kind of like, I just want to keep building it like, um, like impressionist type of, because it, it gives them like a fur texture, at least in my opinion. That's what it looks like to me. moment. I'm going to keep doing the dark colors first and then I'll go back over with white of course. I'm sort of alternating between brown and orange. I don't really like and all tabbies have like an M on their forehead. I need to fix that one too. Because <laughs> he looks like he has a mean streak. <laughs> He's coming along. I still need to make his eyes a lot smaller. I don't know what prompts me to make big eyes on cats. Just paint over with brown and then go back over it. Well, thank you. I like it. I just, I've always been sort of like a, I don't know, realist painter, more or less. I'm not great with uh, making characters. You are, I know you are, but I can't, I can't make them proportional when I try to do a character. That's, that takes a lot of practice. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. You're very good. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You just kind of freaked me out. It wasn't, I mean, he has every right to come in and just express his opinion. It's just sort of some of the things. I don't know. <laughs>
Yeah, it's probably for the best. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Angela was Angela's in here. She was definitely, thankfully, watching my back. But I was just like, I got to have something else. I tried to be entertaining. <laughs> Of course. Shoot. Cut them all first. Well, actually, I have this pad. Um, oh, I know. The reason I waste the tape is because you have to do it for watercolor. You have to tape it down or else it'll curl up. But I like... This pad is like specifically, for, it's watercolor paper that's in a bookmark. Yep. Plus I like to have a border on the outside. I don't know why, it just looks nice. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun. Thank you. That was sweet. Super sweet. Oh. All right, so he has no eyes, but he's looking pretty fuzzy. wait till the paint dries and draw it on a Posca because I think I'll get a clearer, thinner line. Um, but in the meantime, I guess I can start the other bookmark. What is this? That's the neon one. The neon one. Where are my watercolors? Okay, where did I put them? That's those. Where's the other ones? I can't find my watercolors. Oh, I found them. All right. The world is safe. At last, the world is safe. A hey, fallout boy. Angela, are you still here? Almost didn't do my little drawing first. Where is my pencil? It was the radioactive man one from The Simpsons. I'm very particular with my Simpsons seasons. I like season six through, no, I like five too. So I guess I would say five through eight are my favorites episodes usually. It's hard for me to get into it because like 
first of all, a lot of people are dead <laughs> and it's not, it's not the same. And other, and second of all, it's just, it's just not the same in general, but I, I try. I like, I think it's really fun. Like the writers are super talented, of course. And I just, it's just different. It's different when people are dead. <laughs> I want to watch throws one remember our old friend john waters that we were talking about not long ago there's one where he was in there um that was the one where like homer was afraid that everybody was calling him gay or like he was uh, like friends with the guy with the gay guy so and he didn't know it at first and so he just thought he was so incredible and then then he found out and he wasn't thrilled but that was i'm pretty positive that was played by john waters and that's a great episode. I think I might watch that tonight before bed. I have both. So I do have a box that I haven't Plug, I don't know if I could even remember how to plug in my DVD player. <laughs> no, I I'm probably could. But anyway, I have streaming too. I have Disney Plus and so that works. I can smell my chicken and it smells really good. I'm glad I Instacarted some ketchup here because I completely forgot of the store. But I just never eat ketchup. I don't really like ketchup. But it's good for pulled pork and pulled chicken. I'm making pulled chicken. I have to go pull it in a moment, but um, I think I have some time. Usually it's like a half hour before time up. That's when you pull it. You just take two forks and go, you know. But like a dumbass, I forgot to buy hamburger buns too. But I guess I can put it on regular bread. It's fine. <laughs> I was just like, hey, let's buy chicken and the pulled chicken mix and see what happens. Although I don't always eat it as a sandwich. So I guess I could just eat it with a fork.
can't remember what order I did the neon colors in, so I guess I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> I'm sure nobody's going to care if it's not the same on both sides, unless somebody does care. Maybe somebody does care. Do you care, Angela? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would be. What if that um guy was the skateboarder that I reported in 911 today? <laughs> Not that he would know it was me, but that would just be so funny. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, they couldn't have possibly missed him unless he really, he was going really fast though, like almost as fast as a car, which is kind of creepy, scary also. But like, um, yeah, it just shouldn't be hard to, to miss some random skateboarder and a bunch of cars. I mean, they take your name and phone number, so I guess it's possible to know where I came from, but why would they need to know? <laughs> it's, I don't think what I reported was not warranted, so or unwarranted is I guess what I'm trying to say. Maybe from the skateboarder, but who cares? <laughs> Dangerous, man. I got ingredients to make stew too, beef stew, which is one of my favorites. And it's also an easy way to get your serving of vegetables, which is another reason I like it. So I can make that a little later in the week, trying not to order out as much, basically. Trying to curb that, it's a nasty habit. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't guarantee that I won't order crumble again. I, I love crumble, but cookies are a different level of ordering, right? Cookies are necessities. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Bare necessities. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome. Just painting some bookmarks. Relaxing, trying to combat the Sunday scaries. I never leave room for green, I always forget. <laughs> but I'll do it, I'll still paint it. I love the tie dye. It just is so relaxing just to paint little lines and then to watch the colors expand and become this. I don't know why. It's just it's just really relaxing to me. It's just a fun little activity. Try not to get the green to run into the purple because it does not blend well. But blending with yellow is fine. I don't think I did blue in the last, the other side, so I'm just going to keep it at these three colors, the four colors. I can, I, I promise I can count. <laughs> Actually, it's more than that. Oh my God, Susan, you're tired. One, two, three, four, five colors. Thank you very much. So I was doing it from the inside. You see this out here. That means like, but because it touches the purple, I could put the green over here. And it just looks like it continues on and on. I haven't checked a lot of my messages today. I've just kind of been zoning, but I am alive, very much alive. Tomorrow will be something. Hopefully not great. I mean, hopefully not bad, but it is Monday, you know. All right, almost done my neon bookmark. The other one I put like black in there, but I think, I just think this one looks good the way it is, this side. So let's just leave it as is. And I think I want to continue with my kitty cat and do some eyeballs because I think cats deserve to be able to see where they're going. Maybe I'm just a different type of animal lover. I don't know. Let me see if I can find. Finer point Posca paint marker, not that one. I have 
to stand up. Okay. There we go. All right. So, eyeballs. You know how they say cat eye makeup on point? That's because it came from cat. It looks like cats. So let's make the cat eye makeup on point. Well, it's not quite the same on each, but it's better. <laughs> it's better than it was. Gonna need some green, but I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. Let me actually get some pink for the nose. Nope, that's not the right one. I don't want like a fluorescent pink, I want like a peach pink, which I thought I grabbed the other day when I was shopping, but I could be wrong. What's this? No, it's red. This is orange. Yes. All right, I guess I'm painting. <laughs> no worries. Get some red or paint or something. Oh, God. Whew. All right. All right. Paint some pink for the nose. I guess I'll save this in case I want to do art tomorrow. In case I'm not too super tired. I'll save my palette. Recycle. That's my weather channel noise. I don't understand why it has to make that noise just to tell me it's raining. I realize it's raining. I think probably the Posca marker would do better to define the nose a little bit better. It just does, it blends in too much. Let's see. done. I just need to fix the interior of the eyes without messing it all up, which um, I make no promises. So he has this alien look about him. Now it's kind of creepy. But I have to wait for the green to dry before I add some highlights and such. I'm staring at these LOL surprise Crayolas, which I need to open. But I need to make sure that my app is going to work because I'm not going to film all that without being able to edit it. So, But I definitely want to. I have it all set up for me to make a video of that. All right, so let's dry, yes. So let us do this a little bit to find the mouth better. 
Just to find the news. Yeah. Put it inside the ears. black paint out so I think I'll wait a little bit for the maybe I can oh it's too wet I know it's too wet and I don't want to ruin my marker so I guess I'll get out some black paint which I need more of this too note to self is such a mess, but I guess that's why you call it a workspace. kind of cross-eyed but maybe that adds to its cuteness hopefully i know i'm surprised as well where is she she must be asleep somewhere she's not eating oh i'm pretty sure i see her over on the couch snuggled up in my blanket she's got important cat stuff to do like sleep she also didn't interrupt me when i opened my mini brand today so i guess maybe she's like i'm done She's over it. I want to do some whiskers before I forget and let me highlight the nose a little bit. Our friend, or my friend that, you know, the one that draws animals and makes them um, so she doesn't put whiskers on cats when she draws them, which has always kind of baffled me. I'm like, but cats have whiskers. so oh, I just don't use them. Why? Uh, cats don't, if cats didn't have their whiskers, they couldn't, they wouldn't know if they could fit through things. Small spaces. They use those, poor kitties. I should have done Posca with that, but that's okay. I'm on a roll. I'm having fun with my paintbrush. So sue me. All right. There we go. Much better. Much better, in my opinion. Okay. So the background's just going to be blue. Should I do anything else with the background? I haven't decided yet. Hmm. Maybe I should just draw around it at least with the make the paint marker. Make the cat stand out. Here's the kitty cat for all who can't see. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Mm -hmm. 
was thinking I should probably draw, like, there's a lot of people when I make things um, that are dog or cat, they want it to look just like their dog and cat, which is understandable. Um, for dogs, it might be a little hard. I don't know if it's harder or just like more, there's more involvement because I have to draw every single breed and some breeds are not as popular as others. And I just have to judge that. But um, I mean, you know, uh, first world problems and all, but like I just, I just wanted to make sure I could, but yeah, I definitely prefer dog breeds. And I need to make some of those magnets. Don't let me forget those clean, dirty dishwasher magnets that are hungry fed for dogs. That, that was definitely in high demand at one of my craft fairs last year. All right, so I did a cat, I did neon, I did this book tracker bookmark that I hope to sell another one pretty soon. Um, I would like to make more of those to sell, and I think I might stop the live for now. I'm getting tired, but I appreciate y'all hanging out and supporting me. Um, if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to do my best to do more lives like this because, for one thing, I need to craft for a prep anyway, so... Might as well have you guys come and watch if you like. Um, and I'm working on, I'm going to post a new mini brands whenever my video app works. Hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll like try and open it closer to the Wi-Fi hub and see if that works better. But it's always been kind of glitchy. So too bad I really like the way it works. <laughs> Otherwise, when it does work, I like it. So I get it. Um, anyway, I'm going to take off and hopefully I'll see you sometime else this week. We'll see. I'll have to make another graphic to see, like, instead of Seas Inspiration Sunday, like, there's no reason to have it can't be Seas Inspiration Monday or something like that. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you. Take care.